Hey guys, we have moved down in life. We are on the floor of my office right now, so you're gonna see a lot of these guys. Um, but it's for a good reason. So anybody who's been following the channel knows that I have been trying desperately to get a little project up and running called the Free Little Libraries. Well, sometimes the best plans don't work out quite the way you thought. By now, I thought I'd have 40 little libraries up all over the place. I had plans to get them, I mean, literally, like almost every state, all kinds of contacts. I was ready to go, ready to roll. And then there was the virus. Nobody obviously wants little libraries up right now because, you know, big people are touching it and bringing, but it's not good. So we had to put that on hold. Um, I have been where I can, uh, book sales are down right now, so I have to be more careful about money, but where I can, I'm still getting the little plaques that you get, they're $40 each to register each library. And right now I have 12 little libraries set up. Um, I had four authors that donated books, which was super cool. I'm still hoping to get more. Again, I think the kibosh got put on this because right when I was really starting to get donations coming in, um, everything just came to a halt, but that's okay. It is what it is. We're going to pick it back up. In the meantime, I was like, okay, so I don't have the donations coming in and I can't really put these anywhere yet, but you know what I have a lot of is books. Books I've either read and loved, books I've ordered twice because I'm a hoarder with a problem, or books I hated, but someone else might not hate. Speaking of which, I don't know where it is, but I just thought of, ah, bingo. We're going to start with this one. I've got a book review coming. You'll know I hate this book. Um, but me hating a book doesn't mean someone else hates a book. And no book, there's a reader for every book. I truly believe that. So even this book I'm going to talk about that I was not a fan of, somebody might get some enjoyment out of it. Um, I don't have it in me unless I'm repurposing it into one of my, you'll see it in the crazy creation section, um, journals. I never throw away books. I find them home somewhere with someone who has love for to give to them so here we are and I wanted to show you a book on haul but more like a book repurpose hello are you wanting to say anything to anyone or just come after me he just wants me already then so basically um I wanted to show you a bunch of books that I found that I don't have use for or won't have use for that will be going into the little libraries once we're able to get them up and running First book, we have The Life of Changing, oh, the, yeah, good reading, I can't read. The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. This one, um, I read it in a day. Great idea, for me, hard. I mean, Marie Kondo is the author, the book is well written. Anybody who's into like simple living and like, um, Zen and all that stuff. We love this book. Truly, like this is a great book. But for me, I'm too, I don't know, eclectic hoarder. I just, I can't clean. She literally cleans it all up. We're talking one of those shiny people. I don't even know how to function without dog hair on me. So for me, it wasn't the right book, but it will be for someone else. So here's one. I mean, things been read once. Um, then I've got an entire series. I adored this series. I have all the books in the series. I read through them in a week. Um, I want to say Madeline Rue. I am terrible. I cannot pronounce names. If I read them, they go in my head one way and I don't know how to like say it right later. But I got this entire series, which was great. Um, they're all part of, I think it's called the Asylum series. Yeah, I mean, an Asylum novel, an Asylum prequel. There's like four of them and they're in this stack somewhere. I won't show you them all, but great series if you like dark stuff um sort of more geared toward YA but hey you know I, I read YA too I read it write it all that this one you just saw me doing unhauling right guess what I already have it good work Aaron that's okay somebody's gonna skip this in the little library use it not use it but at least it'll be out there in the world and not getting wasted so Whenever I do that and I duplicate a book, I usually donate it to the library, like my actual library. Now I'm gonna donate it to the little libraries. I'm gonna get killed. I don't, I, I, I can't. I tried, guys. 
This is a signed Owl Crate exclusive with the cool, what is it called, flayed edging. I mean, this is a gorgeous book, but it's just not my jam. I am not, I am not a fantasy reader. I try so hard. Gilded Wolves, yeah, I'd have to watch way more book to tube to know how to say her name. Um, Owl Crate Edition. It's going in the little libraries. Look, the way I see this, teenage kid, I don't care, an adult, whatever. This is gonna make somebody's day. That's what this is about. I'm excited. If it gets a reader, great. And I know that book, so many people want that book. So that's that's a good thing. We're back to allergies, sorry, just sneezing. Okay. Um, Hit So Hard, a memoir. I don't even know what this is about. Um, I just don't, it's not, I don't know why I bought it, but it's just not hitting me anymore. So I figure maybe someone else can get something out of it. I'm assuming it's about domestic violence. People are going to cringe when they see this, but this is lit. This is really happening. Little library. Why? Because I have like five of these, but like different versions. And this is also going to be people go, what? But I prefer paperbacks when reading big floppy paperbacks to hardcovers. So yeah, I mean, it's been a while. You can do have a bookmark in there, but you can hear how long it's been since I've opened it. Might as well give it to someone who will enjoy it. It's going in the little libraries. Maybe piles here so I can at least be organized. Um, the way I plan to set these up is to do little libraries that have um, more like kiddish stuff and then more darker ones because I, you know, and I will, you can note that on the little library um, maps, which is super cool. Like this library is geared toward adults. This is for kids, whatever. Um, another one I have two of, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Um, I do have the hardcover. I've got, this is the Penguin Classics Fabric Edition. Um, I got it as a Christmas gift, but I also got the whole set and I didn't realize it was a repeat. So might as well, you know, give it to someone who will use it. A great American whatever. I think I got this out of a book of the month. No, I didn't because it would have the, this must have been a book subscription box. Either way, I tried it. It wasn't for me. Um, wasn't a bad book. It's just not something I know I'm going to get to. I've got too many other things on my TBR right now. Might as well bring it to the little libraries. City of Fallen Angels. No clue what it's about. Just don't have the time. Could be a great book. This book I searched for forever. My mom kept recommending I read this because it's about a school shooting. Never read it, but because I searched for it forever, got it like three times. So this is just another copy and I kept forgetting I got it. Um, I think I got this at a, well, oh, this one says Target, I don't know. I do a lot of book sales at the library. I just picked it up more than once, didn't realize I had it. It's still on my TBR, I will get to it. God knows when. I did go see Judy, um, Judy. Wow, I'm tired. Jody Speak, and I loved that. That was so cool. So this is going up here because um, I wanna be sure that I have another copy before I put that in the little library. Another one. Haven't read it yet. No, I'm not gonna get to it. Kinda kills me to do it because I do have like a huge Stephen King collection, but I just don't see myself getting to it. I mean, this sucker is huge. So I'd rather see someone get some good use out of it. Little library. This one, I don't know what's happening. This is not going to the little library. I don't know why it's in the pile. This Poe, anything Poe never goes anywhere. This one. Got for my kid, he wasn't interested. He doesn't like to read. I try, but it doesn't always work. Little library. Last one. Again, fantasy, it's just not my gig. I won't read it. Um, so to have it sit here getting dusty when it's a relatively new release. Um, Harper Teen, so this is a YA, which doesn't surprise me. I've seen this all over booktube. Um, might as well give to someone who will enjoy it. So that's my current situation for books that I'm adding to one of the little libraries anyway. I'm gonna break them up again by genre. 
but um, it is going to be one of my missions during this quarantine, which God knows how long it's going to last, is get these books set up for what's going where and who's getting what. I will also be doing some giveaways on the channel. Um, if there's any book that I just showed you that you guys think, don't do it, don't give it away, please let me know. If there's any books that you see on here that you're like, hey, look, I'm dying to read that and I'd love to read that book, let me know that too because when I do my mailings, which again, it could be a while because I'm not going to the post office right now, um, I'm certainly willing to, to give gift books that way as well. Um, so, you know, don't be afraid to like speak up if there's something you've been dying to read or couldn't get a copy of. I'm sure people are going to want the Gilded Wolves. I just, it wasn't for me. And I, 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 I tried that one and I just didn't, didn't get anywhere. So my feeling is we put them in these little libraries. Someone becomes a reader out of it or someone gets something out of it. Hey, that's all we can ask. And that's the purpose of those. So I am super excited about it. I haven't forgotten about it. I, it drives me that I can't get those up and running right now, but obviously we've got to do what's safe for everybody. So that's going to take a back seat, most likely realistically until fall. Um, and maybe by then my allergies will go away. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you guys, what do you do with books that you're done reading? Do you donate them, give them to a friend, send them to the library, hoard them in big top piles around your house? How do you guys handle, um, when your bookshelves get too thick and you just know there's something you're not gonna read. Do you loan out books? Like, I love to hear about other people's experiences with book anything. So leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and I will be back to keep you updated on the little libraries and all of the crazy shenanigans happening in Crazy Inc. and Erin Lee and my little corner of book world. Till next time, peace, love, books and crazy. Duh, I forgot this. This one, little library. I'll take the little thingies out. This is the one I did the review on. Not so much. Bye.